Welcome to now everybody. I got asked to demonstrate how to put hair up in a bun. And I'm gonna do that in this video, but I'm also gonna make a more interesting video and talk about why the hair goes up in a bun in this particular spot. So this bun is called a Rishi knot. And the Rishi is a Vedic term, which means master or sage. And these people used to wear their hair up on top of their head. And so the bun on top of the head is called a Rishi knot. Now, why did they used to do it? Why did these great seers used to put the hair on top of the head? Well, vitamin D is in our body, right? And vitamin D is a hormone. And the brain uses more vitamin D than any organ in the body. Inside the hair is melanin. And there's melanin in your skin also. And melanin's job is to grab sunlight and transmit it into the body. So that's why people that live in hotter, more sun environments have greater amounts of melanin because they're grabbing in more sun. So there's a, there's a greater need because there's more sun, the body can use it, so it produces more melanin, more darker melanin. There's melanin in the hair also. The hair and the skin are directly connected to the nervous system and the brain because when we were a little embryo, when the cells were all being formed, the same cells that form the skin and the hair form the nerves. So you can really think about hair and skin as the outside part of the wiring system. And the wires in, uh, in this metaphor are the nerves and the brain. So the, the skin and the hair are the wire, they're just extensions of the wires. Now, once we have the hair up and we're grabbing it with the hand, I'm already losing track of my hair. It's gonna grab the hair up by the hand. It's really important that we coil the hair. So what that means is we're gonna twist it. So at this point, we can actually take one of our hair, I don't even know what these things are called, ties or bands, and you can band your hair. And we actually wanna use these thick bands. Here's some new ones. We don't wanna use those really thin ones that you get everywhere because that crimps your hair and that's gonna be bad for the transmission of energy and it's also gonna break the hair. So we actually don't, this one's optional. If you're really athletic, you actually want this one in there, but you can actually just bring the hair up and then just start coiling it. Now, why the coil? <sighs> Back to the wires, right? Kundalini, some of you may be familiar with that term, usually refers to the kundalini energy that's stored at the base of the spine. And sometimes people are spending their entire life trying to get that to raise up, to raise up the spine, kundalini rising or kundalini, awaken the kundalini. And kundal actually means coil, coil of hair to be more specifically. And so there is this energy in the base of our spine and some say it's sexual energy, but it's basically the most powerful energy in our body. It's the cosmic energy and it's coiled at the base of the spine. And the polar opposite of that coil naturally would be the hair. Man grows hair that just grows and grows and grows on top of the head. It's, I'm gonna say this not knowing if it's true, it's the only animal that does that, okay? It's just growing and growing and growing hair. And hair, as we talked about earlier, did I mention chloroplasts? So chloroplasts, yes, I did mention chloroplasts. So the hair is taking in the, the sun energy, right? And then there's another energy within the body. So we wanna match the energy in the bottom of our spine with the energy coming in through the top because when that happens, it allows that alignment and the transmission of the energy up and down our spine, which everyone who's taking yoga classes, that's their purpose. Yoga isn't to get a six pack or flexibility. Yoga is a very huge, broad, broad practice to make the body more capable of transmitting energy in a functional way and to use the body and the angles of the body systematically to provide effect within yourself and effect in the reality which you reside. 
Now, if you watch this video to learn how to do a reshi knot, all you need to do is actually watch how I did that. Uh, I'm gonna do another one without using two bands. Uh, there's actually three different ways you can do it. Now, let's talk about the eyebrows and body hair and women. Women, women, women. Okay, important ladies to realize why you're just naturally kind of like in culture more intuitive. It's the hair being held up here, right? So if you want to become even more connected, always put your hair up over your solar centers during the day. And then we want to bring it down at night. The reason why we want to bring it down at night is because the sun's not out. And we want to actually get that energy out. So combing it with or brushing it with a wooden brush, which doesn't transmit electricity, actually grounds. Trees are a grounding force. Wood grounds the electricity in there. You Sometimes if I comb my hair with the plastic comb, there's sparks everywhere because there's electricity in the hair. So we want to actually get that out and let it reset. So notice all I did was coil and then it came into the knot automatically. And I just kept on wrapping and wrapping and wrapping. And then I can just take one of these and tie it in there. Boom. Okay, so that's number two. So third way, I'm going to use one again. Eyebrows. The eyebrows. Third eye. Heard of that? Pituitary gland. Oh, yeah. The hair transmits so much information to the pituitary gland. But the eyebrows do the same through the porous frontal cranial bones which are very porous there's the sinus bones all in there also right so the sinuses are channels and energy is coming in through the eyebrows so if we're plucking the eyebrows that means less cosmic energy it might mean that you think you're less attractive but <laughs> When you let go of that, when you stop getting unattached to that, then you'll really know what attraction is. Okay. Because people will be magnetically attracted to you. Not sexually attracted to you, but magnetically attracted to you. So what I did was I prodded it around and I twisted it. And then now I can do the coil. So the first one we did, I doubled up and locked it here. And then I did a second one. But now I'm just kind of holding that and then I'm coiling it around. Coiling it around, coiling it around, coiling it around, coiling it around. And then I can just take that same one and poof over like that. And sometimes it's messy. I actually kind of like it when it's messy. But in terms of energy, messy hair isn't good for uh, electrical transmission. So all wires have that sheath over it, right? So a lot of cultures, they put coverings on their head to protect their circuit board. All right, and that's what the, the purpose of the turban or you know Eskimos wear head coverings. A lot of cultures wear head coverings because they're protecting their, their physical nerve circuitry and their non-physical energetic circuitry. Women, let's not wear bangs over the third eye because I was just talking about the very porous frontal lobe. Yeah, that's all going straight into your third eye, pituitary, pineal area. You want to keep the forehead clear of hair. There is no hair on the forehead for a reason, and that's why. I want that transmission coming through there. If we put this over, you would think that it would, it would actually act as a transmitter, but it's actually blocking light from getting into this specific spot. Now there's hair all over the body, right? If we start shaving that, it screws with our electromagnetic field, our aura. So the more we shave our hair, the, la the, the, the more confused we make our body. Every cell is regenerating at a, a specific energy and the hair is sensing what those energies need to be. And especially now when everything's shifting, everything's changing, you guys know about the 2012 thing, the ending of the Mayan calendar, the, you know, the, the yuga potentially ending now or soon, uh, you know, the new golden era, this is all because of shifting energy from our star going around our galaxy and the ancient cultures all knew this which is why their calendars are very long do i have any more to say about this i don't think so